Hey guys, this is Amber. I'm a mom of 11 kids and we live in New York City. I'm show you all what we eat in a week. This is the first day of our food week because we go shopping on Tuesday and today is Wednesday. So, I'm gonna show you what we're eating today. Today we are having sweet and sour chicken. This is my mom's recipe. It's actually on our website, thehappycarevan.com. And it's a pretty simple meal because it has uh, just basically bell peppers and then for the extra other seasonings it's basically like powdered ginger, powdered garlic so there's not so much extra soy chopping to do. Sugar. Soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar um, and it just makes like a really simple juice, juice from the yes and we also have this chunk pineapple in there <laughs> and make sure you get the kind that's juiced because we've gotten the heavy syrup kind and oh it's too sweet so don't do that. Make sure you get the kind of juice. And we put the juice from the pineapple in there. And it is just yummy. It kind of tastes like Pan Express without the Pan Express price tag, which is very expensive, especially for a family like ours. We should do that. We should go to Pan Express and see how much it is. <laughs> we did that with McDonald's once. So I was like, woo. Yeah, we should do the one local one. And then we also are making instant pot rice. We make about four cups of rice because our kids love white rice, especially um, we usually um, have brown rice with a lot of our meals, but they love white rice too. Naomi's over here hanging out with baby Netta. What kind of cookies did you make, Naomi? Those look so beautiful. Um, M&M cookies. M&M &M cookies. Let's check them out. Yeah. No cookies for you yet, though. I think so. Those look like how Naomi did. Yeah, so we're getting Naomi. those cookies out. These are M&M cookies, and they have M&Ms and mini chocolate chips in them. Okay. You have a cookie if you eat syrup, but Dinner's not done yet, so we have to wait to have cookies. So if we eat dinner, then we can have yummy, delicious cookies. They probably made my Naomi my are probably the best cookies. So these cookies accidentally fell when <laughs> we got them out of the oven, so... <laughs> but at least he got Naomi. <laughs> he got himself one. <laughs> that was sneaky, Bo. <laughs> Moses, Naomi was putting Let's put the broken on ones on the plate. You can have Bo is tasting the cookie. It's a little hot. Yeah, those are the one fell accidentally. <laughs> so it's, it'll taste good though. Um, anyway, so this is from Taste Better from Scratch. Mommy, can I give me milk? You want some milk? Yeah, milk and cookies is the perfect combo. So Mark browned the chicken, and now he's putting in the bell peppers and the pineapple chunks. Did you put in the juice too, or just the? Yep. Juice. Juice. juice and pineapple. Juicy pineapple. <laughs> and then here, next to the cookies, is the mix of all the soy sauce and also brown sugar, the different ginger powder, garlic powder, brown sugar. Did I say brown sugar? I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Vinegar. <laughs> Uh, vinegar we keep until the very end. Yeah, we put, yeah. For some, some reason, when you cook with it, it seems to make it tough. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we just put it in at the end. It's been cooking for a little while. There's also cornstarch in there, and that's what gives it a little bit of thickness, too. Did you put the cornstarch in yet? Yeah, that's in the liquid or whatever. So he's going to put the vinegar in there, come last minute. It gives a little bit of tang. Here's our beautiful pot of rice. It's our rice vinegar. Fresh food. Mmm, so good. Yum. Where's that rice? Have ice. What is he doing? I have ice. Yeah. Now we can have an M&M cookie. Yeah, sure. Hey 
guys, welcome to Thursday night. We are having quiche, and it's a spinach quiche. We're putting some pancetta in it. Also has cheese and eggs and all that good quiche stuff too. But this is what we're using. We're using these pie crusts from Trader Joe's. And they have unbleached flour and expeller pressed oils, which is better than, uh, better than a lot of the pie crusts you buy ready made. I would love to make a lard pie crust at some point, but that's my list of goals. <laughs> First, we put the pancetta and green onions and spinach and let it kind of cook down and simmer a little bit. So we got the quiche going in. Creamy stuff. He can hear the drums, Mo. <laughs> Here are these beautiful quiches, and they're nice and golden. Is it good, Mo? I want to eat this part. You want to eat that part? Okay. I eat that. This part. That's spinach. You like the spinach? <coughs> I eat this part. Yeah, eat that part. Yum. We need to eat that. Yeah. Oh. Voila, quiche. It's kind of like everything all in one meal. Got the meat, veggies, cheese, eggs. Yum. Hey guys, welcome to Friday night. We are having a Tuesday chicken, peas, rice. Salad with buttermilk, homemade buttermilk dressing. So it's so delicious. Happy meal over here. So even though it's Friday, we're having Tuesday chicken. This is something my my granny made when she has servicemen at her house. It's on the community post recipe, like way down, probably like nine months ago. But I do want to put it on the website. Mark made it extra special today. He made it like crunchy and put buttermilk and extra fancy things on it. So, so you can experiment if you want. Is that good enough? Yeah. It's not good. It's amazing. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Here is the dinner. We got chicken. Oh, you want me to film you? So we got chicken, peas, and a salad, rice. You like it, Mel? We've got some tea. Me and Melly are being dinner buddies. Yeah, you a dinner buddy too? Mmm. Where are you Hey guys, welcome to Saturday evening. We are having bean burritos, but Enoch made a very special thing. What did you make? Mm, chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> he made this all by himself. That's pizzeria. a big spoon though. Is he using this big spoon? Mm, well, he's using it to stick it in his mouth. <laughs> okay. How did you make those chocolate covered strawberries? I just smelted chocolate and put it on oh, strawberries, but I washed the strawberries so they were kind of they were as cold. Oh, that is so. Do you like your chocolate covered strawberries, Mo? No, I like Anyway, so Enoch's being gourmet over here. But the the kids are at um, pre college Juilliard. Um, at least uh, three of them are. And then so the big kids are out and about. Josiah's probably making a YouTube video. I'm not sure what else is going on. But it's always an adventure on Saturday. So we have a simple meal like bean burritos. And Elijah went to the movie theater that's right down the street. What did you see? I saw Civil War. Civil War. Was it a good movie? Yeah, it was actually really good. Okay, so he's our movie buff. So if you need to know movie reviews, he's your movie hey, review guy. Evan. I was eating the waffles that Anna made earlier. She's our waffle queen. Do you just toast them in the toaster? Uh-huh. They're good? Yeah, they're really good. Hey, Put your spider-man outfit. <coughs> you look great, Mo. I need to feed the sour. Here's my burrito with the avocado. Makes it extra fun. <laughs> and Moses is moved on. Now he's having milk and apple slices. Is that good? Yeah. 
So this is round three of our sourdough starter. We're gonna try till we succeed. So someone sent us this book. We're very excited about that. Um, we also have some other sourdough books. That we're and someone sent us these jars. So <laughs> we'll be bread baking at some point. So she's gonna. This got really bubbly. You can see the line right there, and then it went back down. So we're gonna try and. What are we gonna do? We're gonna switch it to another jar and feed it or something, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get. Wait, maybe I. Maybe I shouldn't feed it. Oh, what does it say? I think you should. Except for it did have a. Anyway, we're looking. We're studying it. Okay, so she fed the starter. We're gonna see, see if we can keep this alive. It's alive. Good job, Naomi. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday afternoon. We decided to get some pizza and then go to the park and play. Hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are making minestrone soup. It's from the Jamie Oliver cookbook, his first cookbook. He has, a, I think, some of the best recipes that Jamie Oliver's ever come up with. I think he put the first ones at the beginning. But anyway, it's just a simple soup. It has tomatoes and carrots and leeks. We get our leeks and potatoes. If you can, it's easier. They're more clean than like the regular leeks at the store. Simple but amazing. Simple but amazing. Man, you're good at that. He's our copywriter. Um, anyway, so we got rosemary, basil, big old cabbage, just super yummy. We double. Couple of red onions. Yeah, red onions. That's yeah, that makes a big difference. So. This is kind of one of those like Frankenstein recipes for us because we double some of the things, but not all the things. Because if we doubled all the things, we wouldn't be able to fit it in the pot. So we have to pick and choose what we double, but it's still super good. The flavors are amazing, super yummy. Here's all the good cooking stuff. Yeah, let's put it in. You may put it in the top. We're gonna put in the basil and the cabbage. It's gonna cook down. Oh, do you have clay now? Hello. Okay, let's open that. Anyway, so this is a cabbage. It's gonna go. So here is the soup. Nice hearty soup with all that good stuff in there. It's all done. Putting some fresh Parmesan on the soup. So quiet down here because the kids are watching Kit Kittridge upstairs. <laughs> A little bit of olive oil. Mm, it's ready to go. Also something I like to do, we only go to the store once a week, so we get fresh baguettes, but um, they don't keep the whole week. So what I do is I just chop up the baguettes and put them in a bag. Here's our bag of chopped up bread, and you can just slice it and stick it in the toaster. It's super good. Is that good now? He's our soup lover. Give him a try. Mmm, so good. Just good flavor. Good bread, too. <laughs> Mom. We'll bring one of those shoulder bags and just line it with tin foil. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday night. We came back from Costco and we are eating hot dogs and ice cream sandwiches. I guess, well, ice cream bars. Yeah, Costco yeah, style. Bars are in the box. No, it's ice cream cereal. Uh -huh. Is it so Thank good? You. Yeah. Mark's making his hot dog extra special with these yummy pickles from Trader Joe's. They're really good. Also, we have a tiny, tiny unboxing. Mark went to the P.O. Box. We got a few things to show you what we got. So we got this nice letter from somebody, and it's really nice. sweet. It has nice words for each of the kids. Like Anna, it says, you are so organized and helpful to others, and a kind spirit, and so beautiful. Chloe, you are good to your baby sister and very beautiful. You are a trooper and kind. Enoch, you have a good attitude and so helpful to your family, you are cute. <laughs> Enoch like that one. Melody, you are a sweetie pie and love your smiles. You are so cute, you are nice and kind. Moses, you are such a cutie. You are a big helper and a toddler that doesn't complain, a good boy. 
Netta, you are such a cute baby and love her smile. She is precious. Aw, they one for you, Mark. Mark's over there. Mark, you are a good husband and a good father, gentle and kind, patient. You are a loving man. Amber, you are a good wife and a good mother, sometimes. <laughs> patient and a great provider and kind-hearted and pretty. Aw, thank you. Josiah, I'll read this Josiah. He's at a, he's patient. Mark's very patient. I'm not very patient. Um, Josiah's doing a concert. Josiah is a polite guy and a talented and sweet man. You are very respectful. Pearl, a beautiful lady and polite and kind and good to your siblings and talented person. She's out here tonight, but I'll <coughs> relay the message. Elijah, you are a nice and very talented person and respectful and brave. Naomi, you are gentle and kind and love your smiles. You are so pretty and a good baker and talented. Noah, Noah's over there. You are a sweet and talented person and awesome guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. And they wrote us a little letter. That's so sweet. I all love all those awesome individual group. sweet things. Well, the, most of the kids are here, but the ones that aren't, I'll convey that. So we got two other packages. Let's see here. Um, let's see who this is from. It's hard to tell sometimes from Amazon. Um, this is. No way. What did they get us? Oh, they got Moza. They got Moza spoon and fork. Oh, nice, Isn't that Mo. great? Are you so excited? Yeah. Mo is so excited. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not sure what this is, but. You want to, you want to check it out, Mo? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what these Thanks. are. Let's see. Very nice. We got him in some cutlery for his size. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see what this is. This honey bear. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's to hold your music open? See, it has like a little, it's almost like a thing to hold your music open. That's cool. That's a good, that's a really useful thing. Thank you. So this is, it doesn't say who it's from, but, oh, maybe it does. It's hard to, hard to tell. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. That will be very useful. Especially those, we used to have a little toddler for them. What do you think, Mo? Is that wow, so nice? That he out. loves it. Want to show what it is? It's a little fork yeah, and a little spoon. Yeah. Just your size, little Mo. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, we had some of those, but we lost them. Okay, so let's see this. That was nice, huh? Thank you. Um, let's see. Aw, we've got some pretty barrettes. And they look like they're music notes. Those are so pretty. It's a gift for you, it says. Those are so nice. They're really pretty. They're like shiny. Um, no, it's. I think it's for the girls, so it's... Like shiny um, music notes. Can you open it? Like this. Yeah, you can open it like that. So you can probably put your hair in a braid and then. It's a pretty one silver and one's gold. You try it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you. We will enjoy those very much. How did you find out? Everyone's trying out their cute hair. You don't quite have enough hair yet, but you will soon, Mata. <laughs> so pretty. Is that the gold one? Yeah. 